Okay, so when I woke up this morning, I decided to go fishing. One of the things I don't have on my boat is a live well. So I took my, I'm gonna take my 150 core cooler and a couple of things around my shop, run to the store, grab a couple of parts. I did a little bit of researching on YouTube, watched two or three videos, and I'm gonna see what I can come up with. Three quarter inch holes, a couple hole saws. I don't know if I have all of the right sizes, so I just brought a sort and kit, electrical wire, a couple suction cups. L brackets, but um, this is not for this project, for another project when I get down there. Of course, pump, 3 amp inline fuse, a couple PVC fittings, 12 foot PVC, some plexiglass. What I'm gonna do is cut my plexiglass so it fits snug inside of my cooler, just get my width and my height real good. I'm measuring my PVC to put in some pipe, PVC, measuring the diameter. So right now I'm just marking off the height of where I want my hole for the PVC to go through. You're gonna do that on both sides. Measuring how far from the edge I want my hole to be. Mark that off. Grab my one inch hole saw. That both sides cutting a little sample piece real quick just to see how good it fits a little small so ream that out try that again nope no go go ahead try to ream it out a little bit more I want that perfect snug fit Alright, I found what I was looking for. You can already see I capped off the end of that PVC pipe anyway. And you're going to do that for both sides. So right now what I'm about to measure is how much of the PVC I want on the other side of the plexiglass. So 3 inches. Do that on both. Then I just pretty much randomly, not randomly, I drill holes in a straight line. Um, I think I did about, I don't know, maybe 20 of them. It's going to vary from si the size of your cooler. I'm going to go a little bit bigger size for the water to transfer. And I just kind of randomly put holes in the plexiglass here. Make sure whatever fish we have. If it's anything decent, doesn't fuck with, mess with our pump. 1564. Just randomly hit these holes. Let's randomly get them. I use my chop saw, cut the uh, cut the holes. I'm pretty sure you can use a razor blade or something. I went ahead and hooked that up to my um, bilge pump. This is 500 gallon, 500 gallons per minute bilge pump. I just angled the holes up. So now I'm pretty much just. Put your PVC pipes together. I'm coming off a of 290s. Then I'm uh, putting a T to go down. And I put a 3 quarter inch nipple to just to connect the holes to. So it's getting a little late in the morning. I'm about to take what I have and go ahead and run with it. I just got breakfast brought down to me. Um, I rigged everything up. I made some little suction cup brackets, but then this one fell. Yep. So around the back side, 
I just put a three amp fuse in here. I'm not sure if it's a fuse in here or not. Nope. Gotta get one. Three amp fuse. Put it on a little switch toggle. Or toggle switch. <laughs> boom, boom. Um, and I'll run it down to my batteries. Down to my bilge. First and foremost, Ravens Nation. Still use it as a bench.